Hello everyone, Sunly here and welcome back to another Bug Rock of the Week episode. Today we're going to be taking a look at how the armor stands in the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft have a few very strange and very interesting and weird problems with them. You can do some kind of interesting stuff with them and there's also some bugs that you should definitely be aware of here if you like messing around with armor stands in the Bedrock Edition. Because let's be honest, the little custom poses that they can do are pretty cool. Uh, so you can actually do some cool like effects with these guys, but there's also some kind of really broken bugs with them as well. Either way, it's going to be a fun little episode today. If you have not seen the last episode of Bug Rock of the Week, we take a look at how fundamentally broken the liquid and water and just fluid mechanics in the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft are. There's a whole ton of issues that uh, are just crazy broken and there's even more stuff that I wasn't even able to cover in that longer episode. So if you want to learn more about this game and maybe learn what to avoid and learn how to do some cool tricks with lava and water like touching each other and being weird and just strange, then check out that episode of Bug Rock of the Week. All the links will be in all the places that you would expect them to be. But without further ado, let's hop into this episode, shall we? So most of the bugs in today's episode have to do with armor stands being able to receive potion effects from actual potions, such as lingering potions and also splash potions. You can see I've picked out six different types right here that we're going to try on all of these poor little armor stands and uh, they are not going to have a very good time. The way that this should work is you should be able to give armor stands uh, effects via commands such as invisibility and what have you. However, you should not be able to give them any effects via lingering potions or via splash potions or anything like that. This is just not executed very well. It's also not on parity with the Java edition because if you're playing on Java, then uh, these guys will never receive effects from actual potions. You have to give it to them via commands. So there's actually quite a few kind of big bugs having to do with these guys receiving effects from potions. So the first little bug that we're going to take a look at is these guys actually producing the same noise that players do when they take damage. I'm going to turn up the game sound super loud, so hopefully you guys can hear this. There it is. It takes a little while, but it does make a sound, which these guys shouldn't besides the basic place and break sounds. And of course the actual break from like getting shot by an arrow or whatnot, so that is the first little bug. So let's be a little bit more cruel, shall we? We're going to throw a potion of fire resistance on that guy right there. And then we're going to go ahead and just drop both of these guys into lava. And as you can see, the one with fire resistance will not burn. However, this one will. And there goes all of its wooden bodiness. So, I mean, yeah, that's just basically all there is to it. Again, it shouldn't have the fire resistance. Uh, we're going to go ahead and now check out what the harming potion does. And this one has kind of a lot more problems to it. So this one does what you would expect it to do, kind of, but not really. If we go ahead and throw this, it's going to do damage to all of those guys. However, it's just going to straight up delete them. As you can see, none of the armor stand drops and none of the armor dropped either, which of course is not very good whatsoever. This isn't just a thing because I was in creative either. We are now in survival. We're going to go ahead and throw these harming potions at it. And as you can see, barely anything dropped. Now, that's not the only bad thing about this. And I think I know why nothing is dropping. It's because literally everything is breaking. You, you can see that I put full durability diamond pants on that armor stand. Just by throwing two harming potions at it, these diamond pants lost like 95% of the entire durability. That's just like an estimated guess because that is not very much durability on those pants whatsoever. Kind of ridiculous. So I'm guessing that everything that didn't drop it just took so much damage, which is uh, not really a good thing. I don't think that that's how that should work whatsoever. So all of the pants on these armor stands now have Unbreaking 3, and I'm kind of curious if they will drop with more durability or not. It looks like we actually got two sets of armor from that. I'm guessing both of these. Yeah, look at those boots. Barely any durability whatsoever, and the Unbreaking 3 does not appear to have had any effect on the amount of durability that these pants have left over. So, yikes. Look at those boots. Those literally have, like, no durability on them whatsoever. That is ridiculous absolutely ridiculous. We can also demonstrate this with slow falling by throwing a splash potion of slow falling at that guy. As you can see, he falls much slower, especially when compared to a normal armor stand. So if you thought the bugs so far were weird, you haven't seen nothing yet. We're going to go ahead and throw a 
lingering poison at those guys and you'll see that they actually take damage and make the player noise too <laughs> now poison doesn't actually kill you of course it just gets you down to half a heart so these guys will die pretty much as soon as we throw this dk at them and uh, as you can see they all disappeared all the items and everything and it's just really really funny seeing these things actually turn red like a player so just a random thought of mine, if I go ahead and I throw some healing potions at these, does that mean that I can now throw more poison? It does! Weird! That is so cool! <laughs> so you can make some kind of like weird light up displays if you gave these armor stands poison and healing effects at the same time, because uh, then they would just turn red. Interesting. That is a job for some of you command block experts out there. So after doing some testing, it doesn't look like these guys will ever drop anything when killed by DK potions. Of course, you can't get these uh, potions of DK in survival, but it's still kind of an interesting little side bug to this other bigger bug. Now, the final one to really cover is just invisibility, and that is a pretty basic one. You can maybe do some cool builds with this in survival, uh, but they would have to be for a pretty temporary thing, so... Uh, the longest potion that you can really get is like 2 minutes and 15 seconds, so uh, you can still do some fun things with that. Of course, these armor stands still have the particle effects, of course, but, you know, what can you do? They're still kind of invisible. You can still take items from them and give them items too, of course, which is fairly cool. So those are just the potions that actually give a visible effect to the armor stands. They can, of course, be affected by all of these other potions. They just don't have anything that we can really test and show in an easy way. So uh, that is just kind of that bug. You can throw potions at these guys and affect them in survival when you should only be able to give them effects via commands. So uh, there's that one. You can do some kind of fun things with this in survival. Maybe some jump scares, maybe some traps, maybe some little cool like decoration builds uh, for as long as they do stay invisible. The poses really help with decoration, but again, you would have to only have this be like a temporary invisibility thing. So one more little bug I want to show you guys with armor stands, and this isn't really exclusive to armor stands, but it's how I found it. Uh, they have an extremely weird amount of momentum when on slime blocks. You can actually launch them like through several blocks, and if we go ahead and grab ourselves an armor stand and put it over here, you can see the exact problem. We can even put some more blocks on the end of this, and they'll just fly right on through. So we'll just kind of push this forward by a block. You can see that they just slide right on through, and we can push this forward by another block, and you can see it just kind of gets completely launched. Now, I'm pretty sure you can even do this with the player as well. So we can sit, like, right here. We can flick that lever, and yeah, as you can see, we are now in this block. We can flick that one, and now we just got completely launched. So clearly, there are some problems with the physics of the game in some sort of way i have no idea but um it's a thing that i found out because i was building the flying machine that i used to get to the outer and city islands on truly bedrock so as you probably know armor stands that are wearing pairs of frost walker boots either level one or level two should be able to actually freeze water when they get pushed by it this is the standard way of doing that on java edition just simply moving an armor stand in a similar way as a player will freeze the water, which is pretty awesome and like a really nice little feature. Uh, but as you can see, that doesn't quite work on Bedrock Edition, but there is a way to do it. And that way is to have these guys on slime blocks. So as you can see there, and now freezes it for some unknown ungodly reason. That actually works. I don't know. It's also way higher above the water than is typically, uh, you know, required for Frostwalker. So like I can go up here, I can put on these frost walker boots, I will not freeze that water. I can go down to the layer above it, I will not freeze the water, I have to be exactly on the same layer as it to actually freeze it. So there's several different layers of bugs going on right here, and uh, it's kind of nice. I thought I'd share that with you because that is why I made the flying machine the way I did, simply using the player as the actual thing that freezes the water instead of an armor stand. So since armor stands are so weird, and since you can actually get like damaged armor from them, I was really curious if mending tools 
could be mended by an armor stand. Now I haven't found a way to do this. You can see it's now holding mending pants and a mending sword. We can just completely bomb that area with bottles of enchanting and XP orbs and all the things and it will not pick up any of that unfortunately. And we can go ahead and get rid of those two and take those back off the armor stand and you will see that they now still have the same amount of durability. They have not mended whatsoever, which is, which is kind of unfortunate. I wish that uh, they were buggy in that particular way, because then we can make automatic like mending stations using armor stands. You can have like a trident killer running to automatically feed XP to them. You just put all the things that you want to mend on like a, a conveyor of armor stands, and that would be really, really awesome. But unfortunately, this game isn't that that broken, so we'll have to hold all of our mending tools one at a time. And that is all I got for armor stands. Thank you all very, very much for watching. I do hope you did enjoy this Bug Rock of the Week episode. Be sure to actually upvote the bug reports for these armor stands. Links will be down in the description, of course. And remember, upvoting the bug reports really, really, really does help out the Bedrock Edition and help get these bugs actually fixed. It's literally the best way to actually get them fixed. It tells the developers that we care about these bugs and we would like them to eventually be fixed. So thank you all very much for voting on the bug reports and thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you guys are new here, and I will see you all down in that comment section. And in the next one, thanks again for watching. And then there was silence.